everyone! Welcome again to Cookie Together with La Germania. I am Chef Lau and together with me is... I'm Chef Jackie! My lovely wife, Chef Jackie. <laughs> And this is our finale, or our last episode of Cooking Together with La Germania. And hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, your Christmas break. This is the new year, a new hope, and I'm looking forward to this new year. Since this is the finale, I am not just here with my lovely wife, but also with this fantastic girl. She's a host, singer, and she was also my guest in episode 3, if you remember that. And who else is this special person? No other than Karel Marquez Farinas. Yes, hey. welcome back! Hi, Karel, Chef! Happy New Year! Karel. Happy New Year! 2021! Hi. Hi, Chef! Hi, Chef Jackie! Hi, Chef Lau! Yes! Hello, Karel. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Great. So, I'm good. How, was, how was your Christmas uh, holidays Actually, and New Year's? What did you do? It's been very, um, still very blessed despite what happened in 2020. The most important thing is um, our family was together. That was the most important thing. But 2020 was kind of rough for everyone. And I was just happy that, you know, we got to spend time together during Christmas and the holidays. That's the most important. How about you guys, your family? How's your uh, New Year? Christmas uh, we went out of town oh. and the kids really loved it because of course especially the kids they've been quarantined mm -hmm. for, yes. for, for almost a year <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, right, right we a just year. went out so they can have fresh air and it was really cool it was really nice the weather was fantastic well talking about out of town and festivities yes. Today, I'm going to teach you how to cook a very Ilongo inspired dish. Ooh. This is from the hometown of yeah. Chef Jackie, Iloilo. Ilo. Ilo -ilo. And I remember eating this dish for the first time I visited Iloilo. -ilo. That was during my college time. Yes. That's when I was in the college. Oh, now I know. So, she, yeah, she brought me to this really nice restaurant called Tatoy's. It's a villa. Yeah. And I remember we ate a lot of talaba, oh. which is my favorite. We ate a lot of seafood, crabs. But there's one dish there that I can't forget because that's it's... That's their signature dish. That's their signature dish in Tatoy's. And it was the first time I tasted their Tatoy's chicken. Oh, I can't wait to try this. Actually, yeah. it's also the first time I'm gonna make something like this. <laughs> oh, okay. Great. So this is inspired by that chicken. The secret to the Tatoy's chicken is the chicken itself, right? Yes, actually, it's made with free-range native chicken. Mm, yes, yes. And, but we're so lucky now that in the groceries, they have already the free-range chicken right. available. Yeah, that's what we said to you, Karel. Yeah, hey. We don't have exactly the same native chicken they have in Iloilo. We can't find that here in Manila, but we sent you a free-range chicken. Tastier than the usual chicken. And leaner as well. Yes. What makes it also unique, it uses this ingredient. It's dahon and sampalo. If you taste the leaf, I can try. Yeah. All right, I'll it try. has that little citrus flavor. It's not really sour, like a typical sampalo fruit. It's sour, but it, there's the... But it's, it's more of the aroma. It. This is another uh, ingredient that we'll be using. It's the lemongrass or tanglad. So, first, before we start, Karel, do you have some sort of a roasting pan that you can put the chicken on? That has a Ooh, sort of a wrap. Is this fine, Chef? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. That's that's perfect. Um, All right. Because we want the chicken to be elevated. Okay. Replicate the lechon cooking. Yeah. Lechon. Is there a reason why uh, it has to be elevated? Because when it's elevated, the heat is more equally distributed. So even the bottom part of the chicken will get brown. Nice. Yeah, I'm excited. Nice. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is. You get the chicken. Okay, got the and chicken. And then we will just rub this with salt. You just put the salt on, around the, the chicken and also inside the cavity. I hope this will be good on my end. So what, what Chef Jackie is doing is she's just rubbing 
the chicken inside and out with really? salt. Yes. And sea salt. Yeah, sea salt. And actually, Karel, you can yeah. do this yeah. ahead of time. Right. You can even do this overnight. overnight oh. Just the salt, not okay. the other ingredients. Okay. Because what the salting does is it dry brines your chicken. Now we will mix soy sauce, soy sauce. and sinama yeah. and calamansi together. You can mix it also together first. Okay. So it's evenly mixed. In Iloilo, we yeah, the sinama. Yeah. yeah. What's sinama, by the way? It's actually coconut vinegar or oh, green vinegar. Okay. okay. With okay. some turmeric, ginger, so ginger yeah. onions, onions, or shallots, and garlic. Chilies. And a exactly. lot of katumbal. Oh, sinama. Katumbal is oh, Iloilo nice. for sile. Yes. Yeah. yeah, if you have a brush, you can just brush on. Or oh, you can pour also I can the just mixture. It. <laughs> yeah, you can pour. It's a marinade. You just massage the skin and also inside okay. with the toyo. All right, do it. And then if you notice, there's a lot of toyo left. Yes. We will soak the leftover toyo with the sampalok leaves and the tanglad. Tie this up into a sort of like a knot. Ah yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Soak it a little bit also with the marinade that we just. So we'll just soak this first here. And also, we're gonna soak these uh, nice sampado leaves. This is a lot, actually. You don't need to use all of this. How much do I need, Chef? Maybe yes, just half of, half of what I gave yeah. you. Now, while that's soaking, actually, you don't need to stop it first. We will make a chuete butter. Ooh. And how to make a chuete oil or a chuete butter, you just heat up the oil or in this case we're heating up the butter when it's melting na yes. you just put our achuete seeds you just let the achuete seeds and the butter cook until you notice the butter is turning a little bit darker yes. a little bit reddish see as you can see it gives this nice orange oh. and at the same time since we use butter this would taste even better oh, wow yeah Orangey. And then you can put freshly ground pepper. Should I put the achuete butter all around? Yeah. Yes, all around, all right. underneath. Okay, okay. That's why it's nice that it's elevated a bit. Yes. That way, the bottom part of the chicken also gets nicely browned yes. and cooked. Yes, it'll be like uh, lechon. Yes, yeah, exactly. In lechon, yeah, it turns or it's elevated as well because there's charcoal underneath. Yeah. So this time, we're not using charcoal. Yes. We're using our very reliable La Germania ovens. Yes. And right now, I'm using a tabletop Bertazzoni La Germania oven, which is a very, very heavy duty. I've been using this almost every day and even in preparing that we sell in OK Cafe. Yes, me we also actually, believe it or not, like Chef, you, I also yeah. use our La Germania. I also have the small compact one for small orders, but I use this heavy duty one for like big orders and also like for, of course, for cooking awesome meals with my kids. I have one, two, three, six burner payan from La Germania. And of course, super wow. in. Do you know that my wow. La Germania oven can hold up to 260 degrees Celsius? Grab it, that's hot. <laughs> yes. Super hot. Yep. Yeah, cool. it's hot. Well, since you mentioned your oven, and right. anyone there who's interested in getting similar ovens that what we have here, uh -huh. you can go to Lazada or Shopee. Yes, they have plenty of choices. Yes, there. and even without discount, it's very affordable. Very good value. All the service is very reliable. Yeah, and even if you don't shop at Lazada or Shopee, you can even go to their online webpage. Yes, I heard about that. Uh, www. LaGermaniaPH.com yes. And in that website, they also have a complete line of their ovens, their stoves, their so many other products. What I love about La Germania is it's not just reliable, it's built like a tank. I can attest Sobra to that. Pibay. Wow, that chicken looks fantastic, uh, yes. Jackie. How's uh, your chicken doing, Karel? I hope it's okay, but see? it's my first time is making it, this. Ta -da. Is it really orange now? Oh, wow, yeah! yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm excited! Alright, so this chicken is ready to roast. Yay! Alright, so what we do, we'll just put this on top of the rack. And then, and then the excess liquid, the good stuff, you can just 
pour inside the cavity. All right. And then Done. we'll just put it inside our La Germania oven. Yes. All right. Great. All right. So this will roast for like 45 minutes to an hour, depending how big is your chicken. Since our chicken is, is not that big, it's a free range. Barely a kilo, no? I would say maybe 45, 50 15. minutes, maybe. We'll check, so I'll set my timer. And then we'll just check. After 15 minutes, if, if it's really brown, maybe we'll lower the heat. But if it's not that brown, we just okay. keep it okay, at 200 yeah. until it cooks. Yeah, yeah so. Karel, have you been to Iloilo by the way? Uh, to for be honest, or? yes, maybe four or five times. But for work lang, like we have mall shows oh, wow. or like we're going to uh, yeah. this place or maybe sing. But uh, I haven't really got to tour Iloilo. Parang hanggang ano lang, sometimes pag break oh. namin, we're, we, we pupunta kami sa mga restaurant and then we try the Iloilo food. But it's so good. But hanggang dun pa lang. So never pa ako naka-tour to be honest. <laughs> Ah, sayang. Actually, tal mo pa ako. I I've been to Iloilo, I think, only maybe three times. <laughs> I can't forget the first time I went to Iloilo. That was during college times. Mm. Kasi that was the time na I was befriending my <laughs> lovely wife here. I love eating in Iloilo, especially the oysters there. It's Oy, fantastic. Sarap. And they have this fish. It's actually that's a paha. Ah, yeah, but they, bulgan, that, that's, that they call it bulgan. I love that fish. They also use a chuete yeah. oil there yeah. a lot. Um, How about you, Karel? Any favorite Ilonggo dishes that you've tried? With I'm not word, sure if it's Ilonggo, but is, uh, is the recipe Laswa Ilonggo? Yes! Oh. Yeah. yeah, you know why? That's it's one of my long. super favorite vegetable soup dishes because our one of our house angels before, way back, uh, is Elongo. So, parang she used to make it. So, sabi ko, ano yan? Parang soup siya. Tapos may kalabasa, may mga, ano ba yun? Yung, mga, yung purple yes. leaves. Sobrang gusto ko lang siya. It's such a hearty, such a hearty, hearty meal. A Filipino meal when I'm craving for hot soup tapos gulay it's very earthy i love it i love laswa yes that's funny because jackie like a few days ago just told me you know i want to eat really healthy yeah. like vegetables can we make laswa uh -oh. <laughs> my kids actually love yeah, it yeah i love laswa as well have you ever attended Dinagyang? I, I attended Dinagyang parang for a mall show as well. Yung ba yung parang street party? Am I right? Yeah, yeah right. It's a yeah. month long, week long celebration, a different day. Wow. Now, for a week before, they have the beauty contest, the Miss Dinagyang. But the highlight, of course, is the, the Dinagyang, wherein you know, they're painted in black and it's street a dance. celebration. It's a choreographed dance. Oh. It's amazing with all the costumes. Nakikita ko lang siya online or like on TV pag may mga broadcast ng dinagyang na live. But I haven't been to the actual. So usually, how long does this dinagyang festival take? Well, the highlight is on a Sunday. It starts early, maybe 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock. I think the parade would start. And there's like, not sure, 5 or 7 judging areas. Yeah. But Saturday is a different type of presentation. It's also a choreographed presentation but it's like schools doing and reenactments of like uh, okay. historical events like the right. Ibu Adarna, the ah. Temporary Andatus, like that. During that festival, what usually is the food that they serve? Aside from partying in the street, do you also eat in the street? Do you yes, also... there's also actually an open market, like a, a street market. And uh, a lot of the restaurants, the known restaurants, would be serving their lasal, lechon manok, you know, those things. And uh, mostly barbecue, the grilled seafood, the grilled oysters, with beer, right there on the street. Wow! <laughs> Where is this? <laughs> are we allowed to fly anywhere? I think we are. So maybe we can go there now. I'll show my birth certificate. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Iloilo. I have the right to go, go, home. go home. That's right. Well, I think I, I, a while ago when we were talking about the, the local dishes, I heard uh, my La Germania tell, tell me it's done. It's time. I'm it's cooked. <laughs> so maybe your chicken is also cooked as well. Maybe you could check the chicken. Yes, because we have the same Let's La Germania check. oven. Like, so oh, will wow. I get it out? I'll get it out. Oh, nice. It is yes, golden brown. 
Whoa, look at that. Whoa, wait. I'm going to get mine. Nice. Whoa. Nice. Oh, look at mine. Woo. All right, look at this. Uh, can I see your, your chicken? Oh, look girl? at mine. Tada. Wow. <laughs> that looks exactly like mine Yay. too. <laughs> I wonder what oven you used. <laughs> of course, the best of the best, Lager wow. Mania. <laughs> uh, yes, look, look at this. Look at how nice, nicely colored this is from the achuete. And the butter. Ooh, look Made at the that. difference. Huh? Yes. It's really nice, and you can see it's. That's even so nice. beautiful, uh, Karel. It's so even. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so now, now Karel, what we'll do is. From the roasting rack, yes. we will transfer the chicken to the platter. Okay. And then we'll just pour the chuete butter, the drippings, and everything. So, all we need to do, Karel, yeah. is we need to transfer this to a big plate or platter. All right. You can use a tong or anything that, that is strong. Wow, this is tricky. There. Wow, wow, the skin is even crispy. And then, if you have drippings left in your pan, like what we have here, we have a lot of, this is from the butter, the wow, natural I got chicken, natural fat. chicken wow, fat. Yeah. Look, at, look at all that, look at all that drippings. That is gold. You can actually make gravy out of this if you like, but got the dripping. just to make it simpler, you just pour the drippings, all over the chicken. <laughs> Ready. Look at that. Wow. Woo. Ah, Papa, extra rice tayo. Yes, extra rice, please. Yes, for extra rice. Yay. And then we can put a little bit of this uh, sampalok leaves around. Uh, young, murang sampalok leaves. Just to give it a fresh look. Tada! My rustic. These are washed now, so it's okay. Wow! Nice. That looks really good. Can I see again? Nice! Wow! Not bad for a first time. And it smells so good, yeah. grabe. Yeah, you can smell the tanglad, the sampalo. Wow, so good. Everything. I'm excited. Great. Yeah, here's ours. I'll, I'll show it to you. Oh, nice! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Cool, yeah, I, I almost got it. Looks the same. Yay! <laughs> now, Karel, this is the time we are all waiting for. <laughs> it's the tasting Yay. time. I'm gonna get some knife and fork. Ready! I eating! Wow, the smell alone is... It's al already reminiscent of home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does this remind you of tacos? Yes! So let's the smell of the tanglad. Oh yeah. Oh look at how juicy that is. That is super oh, wow. juicy. <gasps> wow. Okay, I will That's just good. cut the leg, oh, the drumstick. Oh yeah. wow, look at that. So juicy. Look how juicy that is. Mm. I'll just try a portion. Wow. Yes. Okay, and I'll I'll get a little spoon because I want to spoon all these nice natural juices. Chef, look, I'm gonna try in the it. Butter. Look at how juicy it looks. Wow, okay. Good. I'll try. Taste time. It really looks juicy. Ready? Super juicy. Is that also the leg or that's the breast? Mm, my favorite, the leg part. Mm. Oh, so good. Oh, me too. <laughs> We're wow. tasting the same part. But of course. Wait, <laughs> I love it. How is it? Mm. The inside is so moist, but the, but the skin is very crispy. Yes. yes. Very good. Pero, I'm really surprised that I did it for the first mm. time. Thanks to you, Chef Jackie and Chef Laua. It's like so juicy. It's so good. Tapos, inside, talag, you can't see any... What do you call this? It's like perfectly cooked. It's not overcooked. There's no red yeah. anymore. And it's just so juicy. Oh my. Even without the balat, it's just so... Mm soft and tender yeah Corrupt. you don't need to have a lechon pit to do lechon manok all you need to have is a larger manya oven yes. yeah. and you're good to go yeah. a good oven is really the key factor here because mm. 
Yes. It was evenly heating and cooking all around. The skin is crispy, the inside is moist, and done. Right? Perfect. That's so, it. So, Jackie, this dish was inspired from your hometown. How does it feel that we've done something to replicate the Tato's chicken? <laughs> How do you feel right now? <laughs> I'm so happy, lesser I'm homesick. Yes. <laughs> because, yeah, because uh, travel has been limited, and of course, we, as much as we want to visit the places of our birth or our hometown, we are kind of limited at the moment. But still, yes. when you do something at home, when you cook dishes from your province, from your birthplace, it reminds, it kind of brings the place to your home as well. So that's right. Yeah, yeah, it brings back memories, and you can share it further to your kids and to make them also get to know the place that you grew up in so it's a lot of things it's food is about memories it's about ingredients of the place of the area so yeah, yeah it brings back a lot of happy memories fantastic so Carol, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I really uh, enjoyed it. You know what? Uh, to be honest, I thought it was manok. hard to make it, but it's just so easy. Just mix the ingredients. Uh, of it course, uh, the ingredients in your hometown with the tanglad and all that. And of course, the best is to use a really high quality oven, La Germania oven. That's what I use. That's why, even if I'm a beginner in doing this, it came out perfectly. Perfect. You know, thank you so much, Carol. Thank for joining you, us, not just in this last episode, but you were with us uh, all the way, even from the start. You shared us your nice, I can remember, the cheesy baked Big mac macaroni that's right, that the other kids episode, absolutely that's love. Right. <laughs> I still can't forget how good that was. I ate a ton of rice when I was Ooh. eating. <laughs> it has been an awesome six months, guys. I would like to thank all the viewers. Who's been watching all our episodes from episode one until now? I can't believe it's like six months. Wow. Thank you so much. Whoever watches the Cooking Together with La Germania, we inspire you and I hope you also develop a passion for cooking. And I'd like to thank also our other guest, Stephanie Zubiri. I love her so much. And then, of course, I'd like to thank my wife <laughs> for helping me. Uh, all the time and being part of this as well. The Christmas feast, our kids were there as well. Of course, all the viewers who watched Cooking Together yes. with La Germania. We've ended season one, but I'm sure this year we're also gonna have season two. And hopefully, I'll see you again, Karel, because uh, it's so fun cooking with you. Super, thank you also for inviting me again, Chef Lau and Chef Jackie. And yes, you're right. I also checked out actually La Germania Philippines Facebook page and they also have an Instagram page. So if you want to stay updated on their new products and of course, you know, check out the oven like I have, my La Germania oven, just check out their Facebook and Instagram. It's La Germania Philippines. Thank you La Germania as well for my oven. I really, really love it. And of course, again, Thank you, Chef Jackie and <laughs> Chef Lau. Thank you for today. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure. Our pleasure. Great. So, till next time here on Cooking Together with, with La Germania. La Germania.